We're back for another Paleo tour. I'm with Ashlyn Bloom. This is another plot of hers that she graciously invited me to go see. We saw this live on stream, but we're getting to have a, a different perspective, her perspective on this. How are you doing today, Ashlyn? Good. Is it Ashlyn or is it just Ash or Ashlyn Bloom? Uh, Ash. 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 Yeah. Nice. So I remember right. the walkway was a really nice touch. Like you, this is where you go. You can't go anywhere else. You have to go down this, this walkway. Yes. I wanted it to feel very like whimsical winding path in the woods. Eventually I plan on having, um, just like big forest all the way around the house. Oh, wow. Yeah. And we need more pathing. Yes, I agree. I agree. It has been so hard. I've had half the server looking for like these little rugs for me. It's so bad. Ah, uh, enlisting your minions. Yes. <laughs> I love these little pawns, especially how people have used them. I and one thing I, I remember was this pumpkin patch. Like, mm -hmm. how about it? You know, like yep. it. People have, you know, displayed pumpkins, right? But you have a legitimate pumpkin patch. Yeah. It's one of those things where logic just slaps you in the face. It just makes sense. Yeah, I thought, you know, with so many pumpkins on this plot, it only made sense to have a little tiny spot dedic dedicated for, like, them. You know, I a I think otherwise. I think you're like, I'm cornering the market on this business. This is where <laughs> yeah. you get your pumpkins. If you do not have a bloom pumpkin, <laughs> then you are incorrect. Yes, bloom pumpkins are the best. <laughs> so and for this entryway, I wanted it to be like you were entering like a gypsy's lair where you had to like push back the curtains that were kind of like dangling in your face. Ooh. If I'm not back in five minutes, somebody send help. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> but yes, let's just drink this room in for a second. All of the details, the floating candles, the way that you use the all the greenery, mm -hmm. the wood to the frame light. everything out. Yeah. I wanted it to be super whimsical and I wanted it to feel like the forest was kind of encroaching on or like intruding into the house. So much so that it has enhanced the structure of the house. Yes. This is really, really well detailed. I do really love this little bar area. Yeah. The barrels. I, I like what you did with the barrels. You have a back stock. Yes. Nice little touch. Putting the loot in the yeah. display case. I wanted to put uh, bedrooms in there, but it's bugged for me right now, so I had to put that one in there. Mm. That's why we can't have nice things. Too many paley bugs. I know. So in the kitchen, I wanted the cupboards to kind of look like they were being held up by branches as well. I like that. I like that a lot. Definitely okay. structural. Yeah. This is uh, this is very makeshift. Mm hmm. Very, very, very rustic, very witchy, very cozy. I like how you put the ovens next to the the fireplace. That yes. just makes sense. Like it's it's definitely mm -hmm. an extension of it. Yeah. Uh, I think it just adds to the the vibe in here. I hate to see your water bill or it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Nothing gets past me. Wow, everything gets past me. 
And then through here we have little pantry. This is Alfred and Alfonso. Oh, nice. They're pets. They're not food. Even though they're in the pantry. They are the right color and that's where they go. I didn't really have anywhere else to put them, so they just got <laughs> stuck there. Live their best life, I'm sure. Yes. We just got a little workshop in here. Good use of uh, lighting and the decorations, the flooring. Yeah. I'm sure that... I didn't... Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, I didn't really know what to do with all of my makeshift stuff, so... This is where it ended up. Nailed it. <laughs> Happy accident. Yep. What are we going to do with the makeshift stuff? Nail it to the wall. Mm -hmm. I don't think the... What I was going to say is, I don't think the Paleo... Uh, design team anticipated how much the makeshift stuff was really going to be sought after. Yeah, no, there's some items that I still am upset that I do not have, and some of them are just so cute. Which which ones in particular? Oh, like the awning? Mm, that yeah. has like the little dangly uh, cans that has like the little bugs and stuff on it. Oh, yes. And the little tiny stools that have like the tufted like cushions. And all the little potted plants. I love plants. You can never have too many plants. That's really cool. Mm hmm. So when I was creating this space, I just, I wanted it to be super small, extra cluttered, just the right amount of space for everything. So this is like the apothecary area, flash library. Wow. I put a cauldron inside the fireplace. Yeah, it's actually no a kidding. <laughs> where you make your your witching witches brews with all yes. of the plants that you yeah that you mentioned. And I was so excited I got this little grinder like yesterday and I was like ooh I'm gonna put it there because it's for grinding bones and stuff but okay. not really maybe sunflowers instead <laughs> I probably needed a disclaimer you know before I came in here yeah for liability reasons you're like, you're fine. Just rub some dirt on it. Yeah, it's only a little spooky. Got a little guest bathroom here. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. All the buggies. But yeah, this hit cap like two days before we got our update, so I can actually add more to it now, which I'm very excited about. I bet. I like how you use all of the different gallery pieces yeah i wanted the walls to be very cluttered in here and i do like how again you you pointed out that the you wanted it to appear like the house the outside vegetation has grown into the house and yes yeah which you'll see in here in this hallway which is probably my favorite This is really cool. Yeah, I remember mm -hmm. pointing this out on stream. Yeah. How you took the way that the branches split and you incorporated that, like you got the angles down perfectly. Mm hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah. And then, then the bedroom is really epic how you yeah. inset it, got, it like into the little hallway section. Some of my friends have done this before, but they used the Valley Sunrise bed and they decorated the top of it and it actually looks really, really good tucked away in a hallway. So I figured, well, let's try it and make like a little, little witchy den. But I figured if I'm a witch, 
you know, I need like a dramatic like getting out of bed like entrance and exit. So she's got like this little like platform stage that she can walk up and down. That is pretty epic. I remember yeah. <laughs> when I was <laughs> when I was streaming this, I was like, this is a very, you know, appropriate working <laughs> from home area. Yeah, I laughed. <laughs> You got your, you know, flow-powered laptop and yep. headset. Go to work. Mm -hmm. So then we have over here the bathroom. It's a little spoopy, not too much. Place to hang. Mm -hmm. A little private toilet area back here that I hid using uh, banners and plant. That's also kind of been something that has uh, the unspoken heroes of Paleon designers is how do you hide this toilet? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I just feel like leaving a toilet out in the open to me is just kind of, I don't know, people need privacy. It's true. So, getting a better look at this corner here, this is a really nice and dressed up corner. How you have the, the cabinets and the mirror yeah. and the sink, and it's a really nice vanity space. Yep. I wanted it to be very, like, dramatic. I really struggled with the color choice though, but I knew I wanted to use the autumn wallpaper when it came out. But it was really hard working around the furniture and the the dyes that I had for options when creating the the house as a whole. Oh wow. Okay, I just picked up on you actually have layered uh layered curtains. Two different mm -hmm. colors. Yeah. That's impressive. I'm sure many of you who are watching this are probably picking up a lot more details than I am. Uh, let me know in the comments what you see that I'm completely missing. So... The outside area. Yes, the outside area. Oh, yeah. We'll go, go, get we'll to go that. this way first. Yeah, we'll go this way first. <laughs> We got a little seating area, fountain, little garden type thing. This area leads into the um, kitchen. That door over here leads into the workshop. And then we have the one that we came from, from the bedroom. I wanted it to feel like um, everything kind of converged together. No matter where you were in the house, you could get out here. And then everything kind of leads to the gazebo. So what you're saying is you are a safety conscious witch. Well, these are I your exits and, and entry points and, you know, well, I mean, you know, if you're a witch, you know, you, you gotta be able to have like an escape route. That's yeah, that's right. You know. Nobody, not anybody else's safety. You need to have your exits planned in case, yeah. you know. And if you have friends over and you're trying to summon stuff in your summoning circle, you know, they, it doesn't matter what path they take, it all leads to the same place. There you go. So I remember this place. This is... I love these candles that you walk up to them and they just come to life and just mm -hmm. makes you feel like such a badass. Yeah. So what are we summoning with this little area? Or who are we summoning for that matter? So I feel like Tamala is like super evil witch and I really don't like Tamala. Sorry for everyone who likes Tamala. But uh, I see like the character in this space as like a very like good witch, like harvest witch, like a very like earthy witch. Um, so like a harvest summoning type of thing, like bountiful, like... You know, that type of thing. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Wholesome. Yes. Whole grain. 
Yes, that's why I chose the sunflowers for the pentagram, because I was like, well, I want it to be spoopy and witchy, but I don't want it to be overboard and, like, scary or too much. I yeah. wanted it to be very cute and whimsical. I'm just going to walk around and take some different angles of this. Mm -hmm. See, this is where you cast a spell on all the pumpkins that are about to get sold. Because that's your guarantee. Yeah. Make sure that the pumpkins don't go bad after so long. Guaranteed profit. Guaranteed profit. Yeah. <laughs> that is pretty much it. It's a very, very small plot. A very small house, but it is very jam-packed full of stuff. Definitely. Definitely is. So... I think we touched on this a little bit, but kind of do a little Q&A here, brief Q&A. Yeah! What is your plans for this plot? Because last time that we were talking on live stream, you had mentioned, you know, this is pretty much going to be frozen in time with the asset cap. Well, now that they've raised the asset cap by a thousand, what's going to yeah. be added changed around okay so i don't really want to change the concept of this plot at all mm -hmm. i want it to pretty much remain the same i feel like this is bloom's personal like hideaway home aside from like her bakery yes um so i want to kind of keep true to that original concept if anything, I will be adding like to the forest, maybe add some like hidden paths that lead back to somewhere else back in the forest. But um, it would just be adding like more finer details, more potion bottles, little things here or there to fill it out more. And it would mostly be things on the outside in the yard, like landscaping and stuff like that, mm -hmm. that I would be adding to it. But I think essentially I would kind of keep it about the same. That sounds really, really interesting. Yeah. So with regards to Paleon lore, right? In according to Paleon lore, magic is very taboo. Yes. How would you say that you, your character fits into that Paleon lore? Mm. I think I would say that uh, I feel like my character feels like Tamala uses flow and is secretly evil and my character more so is like experimenting like an innocent playfulness with the magic. Hmm. So she's she's doing things that are less than desirable. It kind of like hurts the whole concept of of this, but you're experimenting in ways that you're trying to sell people on, you know. It's like this will actually be used for good, you know? Yeah. It's like Yeah. You can not only have a bountiful harvest, but they'll be good quality. Yes. Star quality pumpkins. Yes, star quality pumpkins. And, uh, you know, maybe on the side you have a little bake sale. Yes. We just need a pumpkin pie recipe. Yes. Pumpkin. See, I mean, that's, that's all you need. That's all you need. Mm -hmm. So if you were to have a, if you were to be able to create a potion in Paleo, what would the purpose of that potion be for? Hmm. I would want a potion that could create plant life. Plant life? Like what mm -hmm. kind? Just mm -hmm. like any any kind or would it be like, sort of like, like a, a growth potion? A growth potion? That's cool. Yeah. 
because I like gardening. So I think I would just want a growth potion for that. That's really cool. Yeah, that is that is really cool. If, if you know you had something that would something that you could create, it you would have to go out and seek herbs or grow herbs to make the potion, and you know as a result you could make something can, that would maybe speed up the the growth time or something like that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, as far as cosmetic outfits go oh gosh <laughs> don't even get me started they never gave us a witch hat I was so disappointed so I bought the plague doctor outfit just for the hat <laughs> just missed opportunity singularity six like why didn't yeah. why didn't you have so I guess that I didn't even have to ask the question you know I mean yeah we already we already knew what was missing which was like a witch outfit I mean they got everything mm -hmm. except a witch outfit they see yeah. all of the content for witchy vibes and I know and you know they're just like totally leading into it but they're just like I you know, know what plague docker yeah <laughs> this is this it is works, what though. you get yeah it does it's it's it was a nice touch. I was like, that's a that's a good that's a good homage. I'm sure there are gonna be some people that are interested in that. Mm -hmm. Just too soon. Just too yeah. soon. Last three years, too soon. So given the the lore of Palea about flow and magic being taboo, humans are kind of coming back. Where do you think that the storyline is going in Palea around that? Do you think it's gonna become more widely accepted or do you think it's still gonna be shunned? Hmm. Well, I feel like with there being so many humans and like the fact that we've had so much flow involved in some of the quests and the story thus far, I feel like it's only going to progress um, even more. Yeah, I think so and be too. be more normalized. Yeah. Especially with like the elder wood and flow groves, I feel like it's just going to expand and keep going from there. It's going to be interesting how they incorporate that because it's a delicate topic considering that the history of the humans caused Paley to begin with. It's like, you know, mm -hmm. something happened out of nowhere and then you wake up out of out of a deep sleep and they're like whoa you're the first human in like thousands of years i'm just you know at, at some point i'm just like man i hope we don't mess it up again <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah as i as i have been saying is why we can't have nice things no i'm just being silly Thank you so much for showing me your second plot. Um, yes, no, thank you. And just being able to like talk to you and kind of get the, the backstory behind this and kind of where you're planning on going with it. And, uh, you know, uh, if in case y'all don't know, uh, Ashlyn has a Twitch. She's recently a newly minted Twitch affiliate. I'm going to be linking her channel in the description. Go check her out. She's got a whole community behind her account and let us know in the comments what you thought. What was your favorite part? What are you running home right now and tearing it all apart and uh, and changing? I will see you all in the next tour. Bye-bye.